hopes of providing comfort and healing to a family and community struck by tragedy not once but twice. A 12 year old boy from Florida is honoring the life of one of our own in Western New York. Hear about how he's doing it. Tonight I'm running for fallen firefighter Judy Spencer. Fallen firefighter Judy Spencer was 65 and had served as a firefighter since 1999. She worked with the Heartland Volunteer Fire Company in New York and her last alarm was August 24th, 2021. And lost her life after she was accidentally struck uh, by a fire truck at, while she was spottering at the scene of a field fire. This weekend, Cartledge is traveling roughly 1,200 miles from his home in Florida to upstate New York to present a flag to Spencer's family. We're going to be a part of the Run to Remember 5K um, in, Wheat, in Wheatport, New York. Um, and we're also going to be doing a mile for a fallen New York State trooper as well. Um, and we're also going to be presenting a flag uh, to the family. Prior to his trek to the Empire State, Cartledge ran one mile in Spencer's honor this week. It's a mission that the Florida native started three years ago called Running for Heroes. I'm very glad to see that Running for Heroes has also touched a community uh, like the community of Firefighter Spencer. Um, and we're glad to see the run got to them and it just helped them heal a little bit more. Through his nonprofit, he has raised more than $160,000 helped more than 21 injured first responders and has ran close to 1,000 miles for fallen first responders across the United States, U.S. territories, and Canada. I'm glad to see that it's given them lots of hope and comfort for the future um, and just inspiration to every single time I go out to a college to do it in, in memory of her um, and all the amazing work she did. 